Hello and welcome back to a brand new episode of Let's Play Subnautica. And yes, let's quickly take care of this fire. Die, die, die. All of you, die. You, die. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. What? Alright. I think we're good. I think we're all good. Alright. Is this thing working? Ooh, fancy. <laughs> I can actually hear like the hard drive inside of it uh, booting up. Suffered minor head trauma. This is considered an optimal outcome. This okay. PDA has now rebooted in emergency mode with one directive to keep you alive on an alien world. Please refer uh -huh. to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Whoops. Good luck. There we go. Excellent. Okay. Got the uh, things here. Uh, let's quickly check. Open storage container. What do we have? Uh, we have water and things. We do need to eat something quickly. And yeah, we'll just keep it on us. Just put it that back and that as well. There we go. All right. So welcome back to Subnautica. And for those who are following with the uh, whole Subnautica series, you're probably wondering why I have a brand new game or started a new game inside or during a continuous season well it's because the game is going into full launch very soon and yeah i was looking for a new game to play and i thought like why not why not this game and what we are going to do oh there's power cells okay uh what are we gonna do is we're gonna play this game from a to z and see how far we can get um yeah if we die we die okay that thing's still going if we die we die uh, i did not select that option though but anyways, uh, okay, so let's get out of here and see how the world looks outside. Ooh. Oh, so cool. The Aurora suffered orbital hull failure. Cause unknown. Zero human life signs detected. Okay. I'm just wondering, how is this thing, what I'm wearing, I don't know if it's an AI or something, it's able to detect like life forms or life signs of human life like for inside there i mean it, it's quite uh, some distance to there but anyways i'm not going to question the future i'm going to question our current status so what we need to do let's go back into the pod there we go and the fabricator Ooh, i think these icons are all new oh, that's so cool okay Water. Yep. Uh, we need bleach. I'm not gonna drink bleach. Okay. Uh, sea glide. Ingredients unknown. Mobile vehicle bay. Ingredients unknown. Tools. So we want to get maybe a knife or something. Or maybe a scanner. I don't know. We, we will see. I think we are going for a knife first. And let's see. We got some fins which will help us. We need to get some O2 tanks. ASAP. So we need to get like three titanium. Let's get into it, shall we? Whoa. Oh, so cool. And got an achievement. Getting your feet wet. Haha. <laughs> yeah, that's how good I am. Achievements just for climbing out of a... New creature discovered. Ooh. Okay. Just for climbing out. Alien life forms may have unexpected applications. Utilizing Ugh. alien resources is a proven survival strategy. Okay, yeah, I agree with you. But stop interrupting me. Let's go ahead and break the limestone. Copper is an essential component of all powered equipment. Your probability of survival has just increased to unlikely but plausible. Unlikely but plausible. Okay, thank you for that reinsurance. Okay, anyways, uh, let's just swim around a little bit, see what we can collect. And what we can get. Oh man, the, the life around here is so diverse. We're still in the safe zone, so it's kind of understandable. Kind of, the game is kind of laggy laggy, but uh, I think it's fine. I hope it doesn't come out on the other side of the video, which is pretty cool. Um, it would be cool, that's what I mean. I'm just looking for these things to break. Ah, that's why we need a tank, an oxygen tank. 
go. That's it. Okay, that's it. That's it. We're, we're doing good. We survived thus far. But where do we go from here? I just want to get enough copper because that was the last time, the uh, last game we played. The problem. We didn't get enough copper. Oh, we're at this thing. This thing is filled with a lot of resources we will need. I'm just so happy about that. Let's get back into the pod. Okay. Uh, we can make cooked fish, which should be come in handy soon and yeah we just add some salt to that let's see okay equipment uh, we don't want to do any of those things uh, we need some titanium there we go crafting up some titanium okay I'm gonna craft up all the things okay and then let's get an O2 tank going yeah a new blueprint. Which one is that now? Uh, filtered water. Yes, we know about that. We know about that. High O2 tank. So we need glass, silver, and a standard O2 tank. My question is, where is that? Oh, okay. It's over here. Alright. Glass is not that hard to get. We do have an O2 tank currently equipped. It's just a matter of getting the silver ore. And glass. Glass is easy. Titanium we do have. Okay. But the question now is, can we make a knife? Um, not yet. Silicon rubber. What do we need for that? Silicon rubber. Scrap fine seed clusters. We need two. Okay, let's go see if we cannot get some. Where? I'm kind of confused about where we are. We should be heading in this direction, I think. I think. And I think over there should be a good spot to build a base. If we can get one which can be close upwards or closer to the surface, we should be able to get optimal solar coverage, solar panel coverage. But now we can swim as like for a way longer time, thanks to the new O tank, supplying us with some great, great air, ne ne needed air necessities. Oh, how I do wish we did have those fins. I. I'm kind of confused about where we are, and I think I see something over there which could help us. We should just get there. You know, just get there. Okay, we're here. So over there we have some of those seed clusters. We just have to go grab them. But I know this area is sort of dangerous. Because of those... Shark tooths? I don't know what they're really called. How many did we get? Why does it just maybe reset? Oh, look how beautiful that is. Oh, it's so cool. It's so cool. Okay. Um, okay. Alright, further study will commence as soon as we get a base of operations going at least. And that should be very soon. Ugh. We just need to get back. So far. So far. Yeah, we should also look at getting some of those fins. I should have grabbed more seed clusters to get more silicone rubbers or whatever. To make them fins. Make us swim faster. Alright. We're getting there. We're getting there. We should really go and get a sea glide at least. If we can find some wrecks, that would be great. But it's becoming nighttime now. Ah! Yeah, the sun is over there. So when it's, once that sets, then we should stay close to home. I mean, there's not nothing that can attack us at night, I hope. I don't think they have added anything like that before. Um, no, we want that. Please don't tell me we need more. Uh, we can do the fins. Or we can do the knife. Uh, the knife is fine, I think. But you know what? If we sh if we want to swim faster, we need those. To be dead honest. The 
fabricator draws from available data to provide environment appropriate equipment using locally available materials. For your safety, this setting cannot be overridden. Okay, it turns out we did have enough silicone. What are watchable call it? I don't know why it said two. Weapons were removed from standard survival blueprints following the massacre on Braxis Prime. The knife remains the only exception. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, let's go ahead and dump some of these things in here. Like those and that. We could probably just break that down into titanium as well. Then we should figure out our next plan of action. Okay, there we go. And let's go ahead and put those things in there. Maybe if we look at getting more oxygen, a more high pressured one, um, it's just the silver ore is going to be an issue. So, repair to cave sulfur. I know where to get that, it's just stupid dangerous to do it. Oh boy, that's dark. <laughs> Nuke. <laughs> that is very dark. But I think we do have flares. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're good, but can we... Don't pick up flare. There we go. Okay, cool. Oh man, that feels so much better with the swimming and the things. With the fins. So let's go ahead and check down here. Aha! Here we can grab. Roar! Stay away, stay away, stay away! Oh boy, that was close. Oh my goodness. I just saw a thing, and a thing attacked me. Over there, I see another one. There we go. Um. Okay, I want to grab this stuff. Wow, this that's blinding. 30 seconds. Okay, okay. Stay away, stay away, stay away. Oh, let's get to the surface. Oh dear. I told you, it is very, very dangerous at night. If the flare blinds you, then you have, <laughs> you know, you're seeing this. Okay, let's see what we can get. Okay, like so, like so. Let's quickly check what do we need to make a repair tool. Okay, we have those things. That is, that's hundreds. We can, we do have silicone rubber. Uh, see anything else? I don't see anything else. Um, just a silver ore and two glass. That means we need. We got one, two. We need two more. Ah. Can't see a thing. Why do you blind me? I know you should supposed to throw it, but I mean, I don't want to. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh. Oh. Okay, that scared me legitimately. That was dangerous. Oh. Oh, here's some wreckage. But we need to make a scanner as well. Before we can... Research blueprints. Or scan them, at least. I just want to get down... Down closer to the... The surface. Or to the bottom of... These waters. Because this is the thing we're looking for. Okay, we found some lead. I don't know how we are swimming, but we are swimming. With lead in our pocket and we should be super careful I think there are some of these leeches or something around here short range scans suggest this biome supports extensive biodiversity and connects to a number of small cave networks seconds. silver based wiring kits are an essential component of many habitat modules okay good enough or oh, good information good enough for me okay okay let's just get to the surface get our air back just one question, how is, how are we replenishing our air with a tank that is like, I don't know, 
It doesn't look like it. It feels like you need a machine to refill your air. Um, I don't know. I'm not gonna question the future. It's 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 future stuff. Future magic. Okay, that's what it is. Future magic. All right, come here, buddy. Thank you. Can we throw you? Yeah, there we go. Get out of here. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's get back to business, shall we? Uh, let's get there. Uh, we have that. Let's get some of those. Okay. And uh, let's drink some water. We do require that. Uh, we sh might as well drink that as well. Okay. Now, um. Detecting increased local radiation levels. Trend is consistent with damage to the Aurora Drive Core sustained during Planet Four. Okay. Cool. Thanks. And let's quickly see if we can get that. Okay. So can we remove this one? That, that, nope, that, high capacity. Aha! There we go. Cool, cool. And a rebreather. Okay, that is awesome. No, no. Why are you doing that? Oh, oh, I got, I got, it doesn't look like it, like, it connects, you know. <laughs> I was confused. I'm sorry. Uh, repair tool should be good. Scanner, repair tool. You know what? Let's go. Uh, let's go ahead and make one. So we have one. Okay. Next, we need uh, the scanner, which should be a battery and titanium. I think we do have titanium left, maybe somewhere. Yes, we do. Uh, let's just get that fish out of my inventory. Let's put you with the other one. That, 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 that. Okay. So, we do have titanium, we need a battery. Battery is... Let's go ahead and check. Two acid mushrooms and some copper ore. Okay. Um, there we go. One of these two. Or oh, two of those. That's what I meant. And then, over here, we go ahead, select that. Copper ore. Let's go ahead. Whoops, whoops. Battery. Okay. Oh, cool. We got, a, we got a blueprint for the power cell. And let's go ahead and make the scanner. The scanner can be used to synthesize blueprints from salvage technology and to record alien biological data. Aha. All these things are so cool. We got no tools. Ooh, that's hot. <laughs> All right. And we got ourselves more midi packs. I mean, it's, it's free, so... Alright, and I think I'm gonna end off the episode here, guys. Thank you so much for joining me here on Let's Play Subnautica. Hope you guys did enjoy today's episode, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.